there are a lot of different species of fish that we can keep in our aquariums. Some of them are more colorful than others. Today, we're gonna to go through a list of 10 fish that are very colorful that would look great in your aquarium. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the list. Now, the first fish on this list is probably in fact, it is the most commonly sold aquarium fish in the world and one that can be found in pretty much any store that sells freshwater tropical fish, and that's guppies. One of the appealing things about guppies is that they are live bears, meaning that they give birth to live fish rather than laying eggs, making them especially easy to breed. They can take a wide variety of water parameters as well, so it makes it very easy to keep them no matter where you live in the world. They prefer to have a little bit harder water and minerals, but they've adapted to live in different water parameters, including brackish water. The colors pretty much cover the entire spectrum with different fin variations. You'll find them in red, blues, golds, yellows, orange, purples, whites, and blacks, and a combination of all of these. The next fish on this list is actually two different types of fish. They're not the same fish but people sometimes get them confused and they look very similar. So we're going to talk about both of those, that being the Neon Tetra and the Cardinal Tetra. Now the Neon and the Cardinal Tetra, they're very similar in appearance. They both have a blue upper part of their body with red banding on the lower part of their body. The main difference being that the Cardinal Tetras are a little bit larger than the Neons and the red on their body extends all the way to their tail fin, where on the Neons it stops about midway through the body. Now, neons and cardinal tetras are schooling fish from South America, so it's best to keep them in groups of at least six or more. This allows them to have their kind of natural behavior and feel a little bit safer when they're in their group. Both neons and cardinals are very peaceful fish and they do well in planted aquariums. Not only does it look good with that red and blue against the greenery of plants, but they also use the plants for cover. Neon tetras can be kept in a 10 gallon or larger tank, while carnals will appreciate a little bit more space, starting off at around 20 gallons. If you want that bright flash of color that people will notice in your aquarium, then you should consider neons or carnals. The next fish on this list are discus. Discus are beautiful cichlids from South America and are one of the most beautiful freshwater fish in the hobby, known for their spectacular colors and large disc-like shape. Now, discus do have a reputation of being a little bit more difficult to keep, which is probably due to the fact that they prefer a little bit warmer aquarium temperatures than most tropical fish. They are a larger fish, so they will need at least a 55 gallon tank and do well in planted aquariums. While some people will say that they are hard to keep, we have found that with good water parameters and quality food and care, many fish keepers can be successful keeping these beautiful fish. A great combination would be to have discus in a planted aquarium with the carnals that we mentioned previously. The fourth fish on this list are German blue rams, one of my favorite, a very beautiful dwarf South American cichlid. German blue rams are one of the most striking freshwater fish in the hobby. And when you see a healthy ram in breeding condition, almost every hue of the rainbow is displayed. Besides the normal variants that have a combination of gold and orange, blue and black, you will also find different variations in shapes, including electric blue, gold, and even black versions. They do stay relatively small at around two inches and can be kept in tanks starting around 20 gallons. One of the great things about German blue rams is they're a great centerpiece fish for those smaller planted aquariums. Now, no list of colorful aquarium fish can be complete without including the number five fish on our list, bettas. Betta splendens, which is a common type that we most see in the aquarium hobby, come in a variety of colors and shapes. Almost every color imaginable can be found in bettas. Bettas have what is called a labyrinth organ, which allows them to draw oxygen from the atmosphere, as well as being able to obtain dissolved oxygen through their gills. Because of this, people think that they can be kept in small containers. While you may see this at stores, this is for short-term holding, and they really should be kept in an aquarium of at least five gallons that includes a heater and a filter. Bettas can be quite aggressive towards their own species, or fish that may be slow moving or look like them, so keep them solo or choose tank mates wisely. The next fish on our list is not only a colorful fish, but colorful in name as well, the rainbow fish. Rainbow fish come in a variety of sizes and color variations depending on which species you get. They are excellent in community tanks, and because of the different choices in species, you can have them in small tanks as well as larger aquariums. One common species would be the Bosmani, which has a two-tone coloration, usually a bluish purple head area and an orange body and tail area. They grow to be about four inches and are great in a school. If you have a smaller aquarium but still want a colorful rainbow fish, try the Threadfin Rainbow. 
Not only do they have beautiful colors with reds and oranges, but long flowing fins that give them a unique appearance. No matter which species of rainbow fish you choose, they're definitely going to impress you with their wonderful colorful addition to any aquarium. Number seven on our list is actually not one particular fish, but a grouping of fish, killifish. There are many types of killifish from different parts of the world, from Africa and Asia, and even here in the United States like the Florida flagfish. They come in many sizes from tiny beauties like the clown killifish to large Achilles like blue galeris. Some are annuals, meaning that they have a life cycle of about a year, while others live longer. No matter the type, almost all killifish display beautiful color patterns with many different beautiful fin shapes. If you are looking for a bright red, medium-sized schooling fish, consider the cherry barb. Cherry barbs are peaceful schooling fish that do best in groups of at least six or more. These hardy fish grow to around two inches, so you'll want at least a 29 gallon aquarium for a group of them. They are a good community fish, but can be a bit skittish, so you wanna make sure to have lots of plants and places for them to hide. Number nine on this list is one of my favorite fish, and actually I have a couple variants here in this room, and that's a jewel cichlid. The jewel cichlid is a beautiful fish from Africa. Now they're not to be confused with other African cichlids as they don't come from the hard water rift lakes, but more so creeks and streams, rivers and lakes in other parts of Africa. In the aquarium hobby, you will find that they come in a few different variants and colors, such as bright red with hints of blue and turquoise. You'll see gold and green ones, orange, bluish green, the red coloration is the most common and they can be quite aggressive. So be wary if you're gonna keep them with other fish. Some of them can grow to be five or six inches. So a 40 gallon or larger aquarium would be ideal for these beautiful fish. The last fish on this list, also one of my favorites, the electric blue acara. Now the electric blue acara is actually a man-made variation of the blue acara and is known for its beautiful iridescent blue coloration with hints of gold and orange on the scales and fins. Despite their large size, growing from six to eight inches, they're relatively peaceful as far as cichlids are concerned and can get along well with other peaceful fish. They also do well in planted aquariums, which is not always the case with larger cichlids. While they can be kept in tanks of around 30 gallons in size, stepping up to a larger tank would be better in the long term. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas on colorful fish that you can keep in your aquariums. If you want a list of the top 10 fish that go well in planted aquariums, watch this video right here.